<laughs> hey YouTube, Miles here, Paradise in a Pot. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm ever so humbled to have all my returning subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to be potting up a few plants I have around the house that have rooted. I know it's late fall, but I still have a few things that are rooting that need to get potted up. I'm not really taking any new cuttings, but if it's in water, it can sit and we'll see what happens to the winter. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around. We're going to pot up. Alright gang, so here's the plants we're going to be potting up today. I've got some Sarapogia woodii. I've got a uh, Dracaena or a Sansevieria. I think that's a moonlight. Um, it's got some nice roots going on it. So you're going to pot that up. And then I've got this other snake plant that I uh, salvaged from the neighbors, which has got some roots growing. Maybe not the pieces I grabbed right there. I've also got this Esqueleto. As you can see, it's got quite juicy roots on it. It's ready to go. And I have some of this watermelon discidia here that I'm going to go ahead and pot up. So let's go ahead and mix up some uh, dirt and get these potted. All right. All right, gang, I got some little pots here that we're going to be putting these plants into. I've washed them all up. They're ready to go. So let's go ahead and mix up our medium. So first thing I'm going to add here is a little bit of horticultural charcoal. I'm just going to use this dish to scoop out the rest. So I'll take two scoops, my potting medium. You can see that has some nice vermiculite in it already. But I'm also going to add a little bit of perlite, considering what we're potting up. And I'm going to make that match the horticultural charcoal. All right. So there's the big media. The next thing I'm going to add one of my little secret ingredients, and this is the amazing kelp. So I have this wonderful container, and it's got this wonderful brown dust, and I'm just going to take a little bit, it doesn't take much, just a little bit on my uh, little stick there, I'm going to dump it right in there. Seal that back up. Then. I'm also going to take just a little touch of rooting hormone and sprinkle it in there, mix it around, so that I can help the roots of these plants all really take off once they get into this mix, so I don't have to worry about anybody. And then my last ingredient will be my systemic poison, and this is what keeps sanity in the house. So just mix a nice little bit of that in there. All right. And we'll go ahead and stir that up. Let's see here, I'm gonna grab the tool for just that. And just mix it all together until it becomes a nice, consistent color and mix. Get all the big lumps out. And you can see there's really no moisture to this right now. And that's fine. As I pop things up, I kind of want the soil to be uh, dry so that the roots can do their thing and collect on where they want to collect on. So now that we've got that all mixed up, let's go ahead and start potting these guys up. Now the first one I'm going to pot up is this Monstera Esqueleto. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this little plant. I love how it looks. I love how it's shaped. And I'll make sure I get it into the right pot. So it's a rather large cutting, large stem. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to repot this fairly soon, but that's okay. I don't mind. So we'll go ahead and we're just going to repot it right here inside my bucket. We're just going to get a little layer on the bottom there to cover up the bottom, kind of shake it through, make it level. Then we're going to take the Esqueleto. Look at that baby. Look at those roots. They're beautiful. And that leaf is gorgeous. We're just going to put it right in there. The roots tell me which way it wants to go, and the stem is going to be growing up a totem. So I want big, big leaves on my Escaletta. 
and I want it to be healthy and thriving. I want to thank the person who gave me this Escaletta. They know who they are. I don't like to say names, but when it's a gift that comes from a more anonymous person. And there we go. The Escaletto has been potted up and the Escaletto is going to set in this little cover pot just because I think that's adorable. All right, gang, let's move on to the next one. Oh, I just love that. So the next pot I'm going to put together, I think will be for these yellow mother-in-law's tongues. They have it all rooted, so I'm not gonna put ones that have it rooted. I think I've got there's a few roots on that. I think I might do that. It doesn't take much with these. Once they get going, they really go. So there's two pieces, three pieces, four pieces. All right, so that's a good amount. I'm gonna put that right into this container here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that bottom layer on. All right, and actually, I just thought about it. I think I wanna pot up this little Serapegii first. Only because, mm, Got so many pieces right here. They're so well rooted. And I just really want to put them all in there. Dump the mix in and call it a day. Mm. Kind of tap it in there. You can see I'm using a really, this is a, a really little container. I drilled some holes in the bottom so it will breathe. I think that's going to make an adorable little plant for somebody. I'll probably gift that out to someone. I'm gonna need to set that over here for the moment, that on the chair. All right, so now back to what I was doing here. You know what, I also have a little pot over here for this Discidius that I really wanna use. Which is this little guy you might've seen me pick up the other day at Star Nursery. So I wanna use this for those Discidius because I think the blue with those watermelons will be adorable. So let's go ahead and start on a nice layer there. We'll set that down in there. And we're just gonna go ahead and put them in there. Not all of my cuttings have uh, rooted up, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna put these in this pot. And we're gonna let this guy grow. And I'm gonna start some in another pot. Just to back up. I already have a, a little out of this video going and I have another one with just single leaves we're testing out to see if anything comes of that. Let's go ahead and just pop these up in here real good. Mm. There we go. These don't seem dirt in the front. There we go. And when we water that we'll get all those unburied. Any leaves in there that are buried we'll take them out. And here I have this one the skiddy leaf the other root that I'm going to bury right here, and we'll see if that comes of anything. So I think that's going to be really adorable once I get it all cleaned up. So that's the Discidia. We'll set that on the chair also so it has a little edge to hang over. All right, now we'll go ahead and pot up this Santavarius. Mm, I think I want to go a little deeper. Now I'm making a mess. All right, so let's go a little bit deeper here with these. There, that should be good. Let's concentrate all my mix to one side there. Great. So I'm gonna put them all kinda standing in the same direction. And then as they grow up and pups, they should spread out in there just fine. So we'll put the mix in there, just to keep them spread out. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. And just tap it down in there. I'm gonna take some of the excess out. They don't need that much. Needs room for water at the top. There you go. All right. So that'll become a cute little plant. I'm not worried, not even worried in the least. So I have that. So we'll go ahead and put these other pieces that haven't rooted up away. Let's see, what do I have here? I have another piece of... All right, so then the last one I have, I have to get a little extra cutting mix over here that I can still use. I forgot about that. 
Put this in, sit in. Oh. Dusty. All right. Uh, the last one, we'll just go ahead and pot this up. It's kind of a big pot, but it's a wide leaf, so it doesn't really have a lot of room to grow from, but I'm pretty sure this should take off pretty quickly. So we'll just go ahead and get it buried in there. And there we go. And that's a nice little moonlight. Look at that. All right, gang, so we got those potted up. And do with that. So let's go ahead and put that aside, this water. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up everybody and get them watered nicely. We'll do it on this tray so I can flood and not worry about making any kind of water mess. So let's see, we've got those two little guys. They need kind of something to stand up on. Hmm. Here. This can sit for the Dyskidia. I don't know how I'm going to sit this guy. Here, maybe on this. All right, there we go. So we're just going to carefully place you in there. All right, so there's everybody. So I'm just going to give everybody a little bit of tap water. This has been treated with dechlorinator, so it's chlorine free. So I'm shocking those baby roots. There's a water roots. Just kind of clean off the foliage a little as we add the water and make sure everything gets good and soaked. And that's why I leave it in the tray also, because I'm going to let this all soak for a little bit before I take it out of soak. So there's going to be excess water for a minute. And that's fine because these guys have all sat in water roots for quite some time now. So they kind of know what to do with that. More water here. All right. Just get more water. It's nice to give them a slow pour so you can wash them down. Hmm. Oh, you can just feel that monstera sinking right in. Just loving that pot. Mm. That's fantastic. Flood everywhere. So I want you to get it. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think I've got everything nicely saturated. Now what I'm gonna do is spray a little distilled water on top of that, just to ensure there's no water spots, water hardness, or salt buildup from our Las Vegas hard water. Mm. And also so I can make sure all the leaves are clean and free of any mix. Sometimes if you leave soil on a plant, it will cause problems. All right, so I'll let that sit probably for about 10 minutes, and I'll take all those out of there and place them somewhere home. Let's go ahead and shut that down. 